This is Headlines from Palestine. I'm Chris Smiley with If Americans New. Protests continued over the weekend into today, fueled by the announcement from President Trump recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel with intentions of moving the American embassy there from Tel Aviv. Jerusalem was captured by Israel in the 1967 war. The protests in Palestine have continued to be deadly as the Palestinian Red Crescent Society has reported that Israeli soldiers have killed at least nine Palestinians since the December 6th announcement. One man, Ibrahim Abu Tharaya, a double amputee who lost his legs in a 2008 Israeli airstrike on Gaza, was shot in the head by an Israeli sniper during a protest near the Gaza Strip border. This is Ibrahim moments before he was killed. The report also states that at least 3,400 Palestinians have been injured, many of them children. One of them, Mohammed Tamimi, seen here, was shot at close range by a rubber-coated bullet in Nabi Saleh, a village in the occupied West Bank. He was placed in a medically induced coma and remains in critical condition. Israeli rights group Betzalem reported at least 19 Palestinians, including 12 children, were killed by rubber bullets between 2000 and 2013. A rubber-coated bullet is actually just a metallic bullet covered in a small layer of plastic or rubber. Israeli military rules have stipulations using crowd control methods, including rubber-coated bullets, and that such weapons should only be fired at the lower body and never at children. Massive rallies were held internationally in solidarity with Palestinians on Sunday in Indonesia, Turkey, and Pakistan. The largest demonstration was in Indonesia's capital, Jakarta, outside the United States Embassy, which had an estimated 80,000 protesters. Today, the United Nations Security Council voted on a resolution drafted by Egypt against the recognition of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. The resolution called on all states to refrain from building diplomatic missions in Jerusalem. United States Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley voted against the resolution, using the United States veto power as a permanent member for the first time in more than six years. It's not that the United States has harmed the peace process. We have in fact done no such thing. Jerusalem has been the political, cultural, and spiritual homeland of the Jewish people for thousands of years. Thank you, Ambassador Haley. On Hanukkah, you spoke like a Maccabee. You lit a candle of truth. You dispelled the darkness. One defeated the many. Truth defeated lies. The Council's other 14 members all voted in favor of the resolution. As we have previously said, we disagree with the U.S. decisions unilaterally to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel before a final status agreement and to move the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem. That's it for today. Please share this video and catch us tomorrow for more critical news from Palestine.